Hello, it's Christian. Welcome back to my computer and Fusion 360. It's a new year, so I thought about playing around a bit with geometry again. This is a rhombic dodecahedron. It's a quite simple shape to do. Uh, I noted this a while ago that Adam Savage and Matt Parker did a one-day build with a rhombic dodecahedron, creating a, an infinity mirror. And it's a quite good shape to do because there's a known ratio between the diagonals. So basically, I only had to do the face. I would use that to create an infusion. Uh, and yeah, it's a nice shape. It has also some good feature. Number one, you can stack it with no losses. So you can just keep on stacking. I can stack a couple here. We can do with three dimensional stacking. So you find this shape uh, in a couple of different crystals that forms in this way. Uh, but today we will just do it in fusion we will not do it in crystal so let's remove this and start a new sketch we're going to start on let's do it from the front and the first thing i do i know the new a square this is just to give you my dimension as you should see in my earlier videos i like to have uh, only one dimension so i'm going to do an edge polygon that's the fastest one i've noticed now i do a line i want to do this 50 millimeters this fits, fits, fits nicely on my uh, printer. i done that. I move the mouse up and it just becomes a hexagon. I didn't want a hexagon. I want a square. So four sides like that. And we have a square. I want to lock it in so it doesn't rotate. And I want it to be coincident with the center point like that. So it doesn't move around. So this 50 millimeters I'm doing here, that's from flat face to flat face. You will shortly see that. I'm going to finish sketch. I'm going to create a offset plane we're going to take this one distance to object let's choose uh, this point so we make the offset plane at the edge of this so we are moving in three dimensions now we're going to create a sketch on a newly created plane and the first thing we do we're going to hit p for project i'm going to I just turn around a bit so we're going to project in this line front here so we get that one that is our first diagonal i'm going to hide the first sketch we're going to make this a market, make it a construction. We're going to need another diagonal. It's going to be a line in this direction. That should also be construction. I hit X on the keyboard or up here on construction. We're going to use midpoint constraint. If we do midpoint from line to line, they are going to get connected at their midpoints like that. So this is uh, my two diagonals. And now the ratio between the diagonals, the ratio between the long diagonal and the short diagonal is uh, the square root of two or one through the square root of two. And doing square roots is quite simple in geometry. So we're going to do lines again. We're going to use the long uh, diagonal here. We're going to move out and back to here and tell Fusion that these lines are equal and this angle is 90 degree. This means, yeah, Pythagoras theorem, or we to call it the Chinese name, which I always forget, that if this side is one, this side is one, this diagonal is the square root of two. So uh, the ratio between the diagonals was supposed to be uh, to one to the square root of two, and the side is one. So we're going to do equal. They're not one now, of course, but you I hope you understand what I mean. I can be confusing. I'm sorry about that. Hit the line command again by hitting L, turn off construction. And I will do, oops, sorry. Sometimes I get apex of line because my mouse is a bit bad. Like that. And we have made our profile. And we can finish sketch. And we turn on our first sketch to see what it looks like. So now we are done one of the faces. We are going to use the loft command. Hit S on the keyboard. I type in loft to find it. We're going to do a solid loft from this profile into the origin point, center point here. Like this. Hit OK, turn off the sketches, they are all in my way. I'm going to make it easier for my quail. Self, I'm going to use mirror to start with. This body across the center plane here. And I have join set up, so it's, it's only going to be a one body. Makes it easier to select it later. Now we've done the mirror faces. Now we need to spin things around. So we're going to do a circular pattern of uh, this body. And now I'm going to choose the edge up here. And I want four of that. And that makes it almost complete. I'm just missing two here. So we can do a second circular pattern or we can do a mirror now. So you go to S, mirror. 
and we need to mirror both this body up here that goes straight through and the lower body and the plane we want to use is going to be this one here we can use the original plane here but like that hit ok we got all the parts and the properties if you have now four bodies so i'm going to make a window selection of everything and do a combine like that and by doing that we have a rhombic dotic hidden which of course interesting property it's 120 degrees and of course as it's 120 degrees it's just easy to stack it's 120 all direction and across the vertex it's 90 degrees so this is a small nice one and of course if you don't want to do the 3d model the only thing you have to remember if that the short diagonal or long diagonal if you take the short diagonal first make it a dimension we want the long diagonal takes it times the square root of two or divide the long one with the square root of two sorry if i'm ranting around uh so that is the small and easy one and we're going to check i haven't tried one thing we're going to try one thing we're going to take this one take show dimensions if we change dimension does my model work this is always interesting 100 yes it's parametric thank god i haven't tested that before so with this that's what i want to share today uh take care see you around and bye